All right, today we're gonna to be going over how to set up the engraving in JAL 4 for your 3D Extreme non-S. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and take off your jaw. There's a red T knob on the back side, loosen that. You're gonna raise your shoulder and tip stop. Make sure you don't hit your tracer cutter. Slide it off. Make sure you clean this real nice. And we're gonna go ahead and put our jaw 4, jaw 5 stop extension in the dovetail. And then, as you see, my jaw has the similar dovetail to the profile of the table. Should just slide on until it hits the extension post. Tighten it in place. And we'll go ahead and close the jaw. And again, once we have the calibration silos tool installed, and then the software, you're gonna go to operations, and then engraving. And then there's gonna be a settings tab. Click on that. And then you want to manually put these numbers in. So X coordinate one is 2050, Y coordinate one is 1200, Z coordinate one is 40, X coordinate two, 750, Y coordinate two, 1400, Z coordinate two, 235. Uh, you can disregard the last row and then you just hit update engraving settings when you're done. And then you're gonna hit calibrate engraving jaw cutter. and it needs to touch down anywhere by the sea on that same platform or level. I'm just gonna go over a reference. That first step, come up and touch the back side and then your engraving jaw will be down there. All right, so at this point, we're gonna loosen the knob and we're gonna rotate it. And we're gonna close the vise again. We got jaw four. So for jaw four, we're gonna exit out of the engraving page we're gonna go file and set up. Already have it pulled up, so we we'll go right here. And then you're gonna click the jaw four tab, and we're gonna look at this section right here. You want to put in the second row. Step one X is negative 50. Step one Y, 1400. Step one Z, 60. Calibration X1, 2325. Calibration Y1, 1500. Calibration Z1, 20, and so on. And once you make these changes manually, you have to hit master update right here for it to save and then OK. And just go ahead and let it load. I'm just going to save it to the board. OK, exit out of this. Then you just go to Operations, Calibrate Cutter, insert the number four since we're doing jaw four. And it needs to go in this groove right here. If it's still over here to the left, you're going to cal uh, change the calibration X1 to make it a smaller number. All right, so it should go through that process, uh, and we'll make a video on how to cut one.